This is where we're starting from. President-elect Nado Dankwa Ekufado has assured his administration will work to protect the peace and deepen religious and ethnic coexistence. At the Thanksgiving prayers at the Central Mosque in Accra, Nado reiterated his resolve to deliver on promises made to Zongo communities. This is the second time in the year President-elect Neko Fado and Vice Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya have visited the mosque. The duo were here early in the year before the 2016 campaign started. Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya joined in the Friday Juma prayers. Addressing some Zongo chiefs and supporters after the prayers, Vice President-elect Mahmoud Baumia promised the incoming administration will immediately start working on the Zongo Development Fund project. <laughs> We need your prayers for the task ahead. God willing, Zongo communities across the country will experience tremendous change. The Zongo Development Fund will feature prominently in our first budget. National Nasra Coordinator Elijah Kamal Dean, who read the chief imam's speech, urged Muslim communities to support the incoming government. President-elect Neko Fuado promised to fulfill his promises and asked for prayers for the task ahead. And we will do everything possible to protect the peace and stability of our organ. And an important part of the peace of our country is the peaceful coexistence that has lasted for generations and generations between people of the Christian faith, like myself, and people of the Islamic faith, basic to the peace of God. President elect Donado Danko Kufado there at the Central Mosque. My guest in the studio is a member of the NPP's communication team, Vincent Eko Asifo. We'll take a look at exactly what is in the, those promises. Mm. Grateful to have you. Thank you very much, brother. Is Donado struggling to convince people that his promises will be fulfilled? Absolutely not. Um, let me take this opportunity to greet the people of Ghana and mm. to um, inform them about our Thanksgiving service on Sunday. Right. And um, take this opportunity to also invite all Ghanaians, the general public, for the Thanksgiving service that is going to happen at the Accra Sports Stadium on Sunday at 10 a.m. Mm. Nana Adodanko Kufa, the president elect of the Republic of Ghana, is not struggling to convince the people of Ghana about his promises. Mm. No. For me, I think that it's just a reiteration of his promises to the people of Ghana. In the manifesto of the New Patriotic Party, which for me, I think that based upon that the people of Ghana voted for him, is a social contract that he is having with the people of Ghana. Right. And so at any point in time, any opportunity that he gets, it is right and apt for him to reiterate such promises. We have always been talking about the Zongo Development Fund. Why are we saying that? Across the country, it is clear that the Zongos are in a deplorable state. Mm. The Zongos in the cities, in the villages, they are all the same. And so if there is a particular or a peculiar problem that the Zongos are facing, with the NDC field in their manifesto to address or to speak about, because clearly, when you look at the NDC manifesto, they never spoke about anything about the Zongos. Right. So we felt that it was right for us to talk about the Zongos. When you go to the Zongos, they are having a challenge with sanitation. They have a challenge with health. They have a challenge with schools. And so we felt that setting up a Zongo development fund that is going to gear specifically Are these to challenges? Absolutely. When we get to that, we believe that it is going to increase or improve the living standards the, of the people this in the Zongos. Municipal and metro assemblies cannot deal with this? That is why we are saying that... from the central government? Since 1992, it has always been 
uh, business as usual. Mm. If you don't do something different, you keep on getting the same results. And we felt that we should set up a Zongo development fund to be able to address this problem. You see, the NPP also promised that what we used to do somewhere in 2005 to 2008, we used to pay Islamic instructors allowances. Mm. We felt that and the various if Islamic schools. Absolutely. If you pay them those allowances, you motivate them to be able to teach the younger ones in the Zongos. And so what you are doing in turn is that you are raising the standard of education. Now, if a government comes to place, that is what the NDC did. They come to place and we move that sort of um, motivation that we used to give to these instructors. Mm. What you are doing in turn is that you are reducing the standard of education so in that the allowance to be restored first. We have stated that categorically mm. that we are going to install that allowance to the Islamic instructor so that we'll be able to improve the standard of education in the Zongos. You and talk about sanitation. Uh, how is that going to be done? Because now the major questions being asked are you want to improve it. How are they going to be done? My brother, if you have visited the Zongos before, mm. It is trite knowledge that drainage system is one of the problems that the Zongos are facing. There's none at all in some of the Zongos. Um, absolutely. And you see, it creates a lot of um, diseases around. And so if people or if an authority is it's mandated to be able to take charge of that, and that, is not, has, uh, that, that has not been happening since 1992, it is only apt, it is only good that we try as much as possible to bring out a policy that will specifically deal with that. And so... Drainages. Absolutely. And so we are going to find a way to deal with um, some of these problems in consultation and collaboration with the various district assemblies and um, the members of uh, parliament or the various um, communities. I see. That's the first challenge. Mm. How would you react to the fact that someone would say that, well, the MPP and the President Kufour promised that you're going to turn these zongos into the structures into high-rise buildings. It didn't happen. How should they trust you this time? My brother, in a political season, you make a lot of promises. Clearly, you can't achieve all of them. Okay. The NPP can boast of giant promises that we're able to achieve. Mm. Even some of them we did not promise yet we're able to do, we are, we are able to do them. Mm. A typical example is the NHIS. We never promised, but when we came to power, we realized that it was something that is going to be very beneficial to the ordinary people, uh, the, the ordinary uh, person in the country. And for that matter, we had to go ahead to do the NHIS. And so our failure to be able to do that does not warrant that indeed we are also going to fail in the future. Right. Going forward, we feel that this is a particular pe peculiar problem that the people of the Zongos are facing. You know, for that matter, it is very clear, very right that we try as much as possible to solve such a problem. Is the MPP aware of has how many Zongos we have in Ghana? For now, I cannot sit here mm. and tell you the number of Zongos we have in Ghana. But obviously, we have a lot of Zongos, even mm. in Accra. Almost every community has a Zongo community. Absolutely. Mm. And so if aside the Zongo Development Fund, we're also going to give every constituency about $1 million each. Mm. If you collaborate uh, with uh, such a policy, it means that we are, uh, we are going to be able to solve the small, small problems in the various communities, health issues, sanitation, simple um, toilet uh, facilities that some of these um, Zongo communities lack, and be able to even support uh, women in the Zongos with trade. Mm. That's what you intend to do. Let's uh, begin to wrap up our conversation. Mm. So at the end of the day, these communities, the Zongo communities, will indeed benefit from what you, 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 are, you are promising to do. Mm. Now, one key thing that commentators have been asking is about the funding. Where is it coming from? The funding is going to come from we trying as much as possible to use our money judiciously. To cut waste? Absolutely. You have to cut waste. The money is going to come from the system. In fact, we have promised the people of Ghana that in our first budget, the Zongo Development Fund is going to have a line in there. And so, if so you stop... police have been in budgets and yet it, we, we don't get to see them. But if, uh, if you uh, prioritize it, I'm sure that you'll be able to achieve it. The NDC prioritized infrastructure. They achieved a lot of them. Mm. But that is not what the people of Ghana really need. Want. And so, if you prioritize your policy, I'm sure that you'll be able to achieve it. If you stop paying unnecessary money to worry me, I'm sure you get enough funds to be able to realize your dream. Mm. If you stop wasting money in SADA, I'm sure that you get enough funds to be able to realize your dream. If you stop the wastage in the system, 
apply your resources in a certain way that is going to be beneficial to the ordinary Ghanaian, mm -hmm. I'm sure that some of these policies, you don't need to suffer before you can implement them. So the money is going to come from you. The money is in the system already. Just apply them judiciously, and I'm sure you shouldn't have a problem. Money is in the system, but this country is broke. That is what they say. But you see... You don't believe the country is broke? In 2001, when we were coming to government, the country was really Today broke. Today the country is broke, too. And, and the MPP is having a And yet you say the broke. money is in the system. Of course, the money is in the system. Because you see, even as at last November, the NDC brought a budget. And so clearly, even when they, if they had won the elections, mm. it's not the country we was going to run. <laughs> you understand? But your party says the country is broke. That's what I'm saying that in, in, in 2001, when we came to power, the country was broke. We managed the country with very little resources. Okay, so you, you concede it is broke, but you will find the resources. Just, just cut the waste, and I'm sure that you will be fine. I see. Vincent, I'm grateful for Thank you very today. much, Right. He's a member of the NPP communication team, and I'm sure we're going to hear more from him as uh, when uh, President-elect Nanado Danko Kufado is inaugurated. And uh, when we begin to roll out this policy, we'll talk to more. Visit, we're grateful for your time Thank tonight. You. Right.